Okay, um, well, we're back, okay, and uh, in this video we're going to add some more things. Um, we can speed it up a bit now, we'll do three at once, okay, with exactly the same technique. And uh, what we're going to add is, we're going to add a calendar, and uh, we're going to add something for some news and announcements, you know, something happens, you know, like Mr. Feather catches fire, then uh, that can go in the news section. Uh, surveys and polls are going to be very useful uh, because we can uh, uh, harvest uh, the opinions and feelings of uh, kids uh, that we teach and that's really handy. Uh, so we'll do those three, okay, dead quick and it's the same technique as last time. Site actions, view all site content and um, we're going to create, should be used to being a creator by now. Lists, and uh, you'll see them, they're here. There we go, uh, announcements, uh, a list of news items, statuses, and other short bits of information, like Mr. Feather is on fire, uh, calendar, okay, I don't think that needs any explanation, um, but this calendar can be synchronized with Microsoft Outlook or other compatible programs, uh, and also down here, surveys, a list of questions which you would like to have people answer. Surveys allow you to quickly create questions, and view graphical summaries of the responses. That's really cool because that's going to take a lot of the pain out of gathering data from uh, the pupils and uh, and also parents as well. The same procedure as last time. Dead simple. Click. Science news. You know, it, and I'm not saying science announcements. And you call it, you know, geography news, history news, whatever. You know. Um, and we're going to create that, and that will create. And calendar, we're going to create that science calendar. And uh, you'll, you, you may notice that I keep typing with uh, a capital C after the S, and uh, I don't know why that is. I often do that. Uh, so that's going to be science calendar. Uh, and I'll create that. And uh, also science surveys. Uh, and I'll create that as well. So I'm just going to pause uh, my recording and I'm going to get those uh, done and I'll show you the front page in a second. Okay, I'm back and, and, and you'll see that my table of contents has, is, has grown. It's bulging almost. Uh, and we've got some new uh, tools which are shown in the table of contents. Um, because we took a little bit of time to plan things out. Uh, this is looking a little bit more sensible now. We've got our science surveys, more of that in a second. Uh, we've also got our science calendar and our science news, uh, uh, all arranged nice and neatly to one side. Yes, it doesn't look pretty, um, but I'm not going for pretty, uh, as I've said previously. Uh, plan, content, then make it look pretty afterwards. Um, so um, let's have a quick look at these. Okay, science calendar. Um, it really, really doesn't need much said about it. Okay, uh, when we're up here, uh, we can have some events. We can create a new event. So it's the twenty eighth of uh, June right now. So uh, very shortly, in about uh, forty minutes time, it's going to be the twenty ninth. So let's add an interesting uh, entry for our calendar here. Okay, so um, you see that it says add. Okay, so let's add something. Uh, title. Okay, um, well, what I'm going to do on the 29th, I'm going to have breakfast. Okay, so Mr. Feather has breakfast. Now, clearly, this is a fatuous thing to actually uh, write in, but I'm just showing you how you fill it in. That's all, you know, for the sake of argument. Now, I'm not going to have breakfast at 12 a.m., and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that I eat breakfast at, uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, no, actually, it's, it's later than that, 7.45. Uh, it certainly doesn't take me an hour. Uh, so um, it will go on until um, 7.50, uh, because I eat quickly. Okay, and uh, cornflakes um, are eaten quickly. Now, clearly, if you're having a calendar in your department, then you can add events, meetings, and things like that, which will appear. Um, now this is, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of a get-together, <laughs> so that's the category of this event. Uh, and there's other things you can do. Um, if it was an all-day event, then you'd click an all-day event and we'd save. Uh, but the point is, the point is, um, these events are then visible to all of the staff 
who use this calendar and it's just very handy having a common calendar uh, and so events that you're going to have you know um, geography field trip okay put it in there etc so that's the calendar and let's go back to science and let's have a little look at the science news okay uh, so we're going to add a new announcement now clearly i'm going to add a stupid announcement but they aren't going to be there when the site sci sci goes live so uh, mr feather uh, no, catches fire um, and we'll write some text here um, something pertinent to the uh, to the news item um, now really it, it could be something a bit more substantial like uh, diabetes cured in mice uh, by stem cell copy and paste technologies uh, and we could have a link there to um, a website with that information on it um, but you get the idea okay I'm clearly not going to put Mr. Feather Catches Fire in the news item but the last little thing we can have a look at is science surveys really cool so let's have a look at these surveys no one responded to it mm. uh, so what we can do uh, if, uh, I'll show you how um, oops uh, we're going to add some questions um, to our survey. Um, you can add them as soon as you make it, but you can also add them later. Uh, got loads of different question types here. Okay, need I say more? So you can type your question in all different types of answers, additional question settings, etc., etc., and you can go down to the bottom and have next questions. And it really is a case of uh, whatever survey you would like to conduct, um, you can basically and you go through it next question then you finish and uh, basically if they click on that particular um, survey link um, then they'll be taken to somewhere where their opinions uh, can be listened to and uh, we can act on their opinions uh, if it's if it's good you know? uh, and and that really helps us personalize learning uh, I'll say that again personalized learning it's very popular no one knows exactly what it means but uh, um, I'm guessing that science surveys uh, and surveys in other um, subjects uh, would go some way towards um, modifying curricula so that um, pupils get what they want. And there we go. So it's, it's coming on nicely, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but remember, pretty comes last. Uh, so I'll see you again later uh, and we'll have a look at some blogs, which is uh, really the meat and potatoes of your day-to-day -day existence. Uh, you get loads of miles out of them. So I'll see you with that next time. Bye-bye.